Hello, good morning everybody. Um, it's nice and early on Wednesday the 25th of May 2022. It's around 6.30am, um, something like that. And I've come over to Stanley Park um, once again to do my next weekly uh, instalment of the Anfield Road Stand. Um, I'll turn you around, as I always do when I get here. I can already see more steels. It looks... Um, sorry, let me turn you around. That's... Um, the corner we looked at last week, so closer to the main stand where they'd put steels up, that looks higher, I think, I think anyway, and it looks like there's some um, some more steels coming out the other end down the Kenny Dog Leash side, it would appear, more, more steels, um, it's starting to rain, a little fine rain and it's quite windy, but you know what? We're here now, so we're going to get the drone up anyway. Um, so let's go, let's take a look at it. This is the, the Anfield Road Stand development um, on Wednesday, the 25th of May, 2022. Let's get up there.
There you go, firstly, I don't know if you can see the security guard walking away from me there. Um, really nice fella. Um, but he's just come over to to tell me that um, he spotted me drone in the air and I couldn't fly it. Um, no drones in the air. He said, they don't let you. So I said, who don't? And he said, um, Liverpool and the, they'll have the police here. Um, and I told him, it's nothing to do with Liverpool or the police. Um, so, but I was, I was, t I was finished anyway. Do you know what? The drone was just coming down right at the end. Um, he's a really nice fella, but I, I just explained like me drones. Uh, it's under two hundred and fifty grams. I'm, I'm licensed and authorised to fly here, so um, if I want to, I will do. But then we just had a nice chat um, because he's he was a really nice guy, really nice guy. We had a great chat, to be honest with you. Um, he did tell me that works had to be paused. I tell you what. Um, See the cranes are, are down, and I did notice this in the video. Um, the cranes are down at the moment. Um, he told me that there'd been a, a, an incident. Um, that means they've had to just um, pause work. They'd had to pause work for a for a short time, um, which is a shame because it still looks like like there's been loads done. To be honest with you, um, if you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but at the beginning I said you could see a couple of steels sticking up which look like they were at the Kenny Dog Leash end. They're not, they're actually right in the middle. It's you'll have seen when I was going over, they're right in the middle of that of that centre section. That centre section which is above the hospitality entrance. Um that's come up loads now. Um But the two the, the corners, especially the one at the Kenny Dog Leash end, is as has risen um to around the same the same size and then we've got this steel um this end as well, the main stand end. Um, so yeah, looking looking really good. Um, loads of progress. So I'm not sure when um, when the when the incident was that it, it's meant they've had to pull some of the crane works. Um, but but anyway, it still looks still looking good. Um, in my opinion, looks looks like uh, made some great progress there. Um, he did tell me just going back to the the reason why he, he came out and spoke to me. He said that there was a um, there was a couple of lads here uh, last week flying a drone um he said it was he said it was a big drone because he, he did see that he's seen mine um my my mini too and he said oh that's that's nothing compared to what these guys had he said it was a massive drone and it had a bag underneath it he said they were flying it up and down stanley park and dropping a bag um so he got sent out to have a to have a little chat with them um and they said they were um said they use it for fishing to drop to drop uh, bait um into the into the the lake whatever um into the water so he was like all right then so he went back in told him about it he said the next thing it's all um his radios and everything flashed up red and he said uh they need to get out there they've just dropped a bag into the into the uh, ground and it landed on one of the goalposts he said um and he said in it it had like um sand milk um and all sorts so he said they, they told him to get out and get the registration but he, he didn't um he said he didn't have time anyway um but uh but yeah so i said to him though that must have been some big drone that some massive drone to do to do stuff like that but but there you go it's see it's stuff like that so liverpool have obviously got a bit um a bit you know concerned about that now and drone flying um as they should but it's stuff like that that can potentially ruin it for um you know for us trying to take some some genuine you know good good footage to to share and people that are abiding by the rules um like myself of course but uh but yeah so um anyway we, we had a nice chat you know he was a really nice guy so if that was you and you're watching um nice to talk to you um anyway getting back to it that was the anfield road stand on the 25th of uh, May 2022. I hope you enjoyed the video. Loads of progress. Take care, everyone. Right, okay, guys. So to finish off this video, you, you heard me said. Uh, you heard me said. You heard me say uh, this morning, early this morning, while I was uh, still walking back across Stanley Park, that I'd been informed there was an incident um, that had halted um, some of the works. So I've done a. <laughs> I couldn't leave it there. So I've done a bit of um, a bit of kind of. Um, Following up on that today, a um, bit of investigating, um, hitting up on people that I know have connections to the site, work on the site. I'm not going to mention any names at all, um, but I've, I've kind of tapped up a lot of people um, to find out. And, and apparently, 
um, on Friday, just gone, um, when they were lifting one of the steel girders up on one of the cranes, it come loose somehow. I, I don't know the ins and outs. This is a story I've been told. I think it's true because I got it kind of verified by a couple of people, but, um, you know, I, I can only go on what I'm told, but apparently one of the steel girders uh, fell and... Um, it, it nearly it could have it could have killed um, a couple of people. There was one lad up on a cherry picker, and one in the cabin, um, and it's come down and crushed that cabin. But the lad jumped out. Um, the guy jumped out. Thank God. Um, you know he had he had the nose um, to to jump out and the speed to jump out. So thank God for that. But apparently um, there could have been could have been um, it could have been really bad. Could have been really really bad. Could have been awful. Um, so health and safety. Um, and all that are there now. So apparently there's no there's no crane works until they, they figure that out. That's what I've been told. Um, so, you know, uh, look, thankfully nobody was, was hurt. That's that's the main thing. That's the main thing. Um, but yeah, so uh, we'll keep an eye on it. I, I noticed earlier that the cranes were down, you see. And then when the guy said, oh yeah, there's, there's been an incident, I thought, I'm going to have to find out what this is. So there you go. Um, you may have heard it here first, you may have not, but that's what I've been told. Keep an eye on it, keep an eye on it.